Hi. Well. My name is Luna and this is my bedtime story for you. Fluff up your pillow and do get comfy. Oh. By the way please click subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. Thank you and let's get started. Title. The Chronicles of Shadows Nestled at the end of a cobbled street in the quaint town of Thistle Creek stood an unassuming bookstore named The Almanac. Its weathered sign swung gently in the late autumn breeze, and its tall, dusty windows were framed by ivy, giving the shop a quaint charm that attracted passers-by. But beneath this idyllic facade lay a chilling secret that had ensnared the hearts of anyone who dared to wander through its aisles. The almanac had been established over a century ago, long before the town had evolved into a picturesque retreat for tourists. Its shelves were filled with a tapestry of tales, from whimsical children's stories to weighty tomes on local history. But amidst the collection, one book had remained untouched for decades, a leather-bound volume whose spine was adorned with faded, golden letters that once proudly claimed its title, The Chronicles of Shadows. Rumors of the haunted book began to circulate after the sudden disappearance of the store's previous owner, an elderly man named Mr. Penrose, known for his peculiar behavior. He spent hours whispering to the books as if they contained more than just the words printed on their pages. Yet, it was the Chronicles of Shadows that captivated him most. It was said that he had lost his mind over it, often found lost in conversation with unseen figures that seemed to arise from the book itself. The townsfolk dismissed these rumors as mere superstitions. Old wives' tales spun to frighten children, but those who ventured into the almanac could feel it, an unshakable heaviness hung in the air, a palpable tension that thickened like fog. A foreboding silence loomed over the store, interrupted only by the faint creak of the wooden floorboards and the whisper of pages turning when no one else was around. One dreary evening, a college student named Lily, desperately seeking an escape from her studies, decided to explore the almanac. As she stepped through the door, a gust of wind extinguished the flickering candles that adorned the room, casting everything into shadow. An unsettling chill ran down her spine, but curiosity drove her deeper into the heart of the store. Lily admired the eclectic collection but felt an invisible pull toward the far corner, where the Chronicles of Shadows stood perched on a shelf, ensconced in layers of dust. She reached out to take it, and as her fingers brushed against the leather cover, a sudden rush of ice-cold air enveloped her. Heart racing, she opened the book. Inside, she found pages filled with disjointed text, twisted tales of woe, despair, and dark secrets. Most unnerving were the illustrations, dark, swirling images of shadows that seemed to shift and writhe upon the page, almost alive in their malevolence. With each word she read, a sense of dread unfurled within her. Footsteps echoed from behind her, though she was alone in the store. Put it down, a trembling voice exclaimed. Startled, Lily spun around to see a disheveled woman, her face pale as moonlight, standing just beyond the shadows of the shelf. It was Mrs. Hawthorne, the town's eccentric recluse known for her tales of the supernatural. You can't trust it. That book. It holds the spirits of those who once owned it. Well, what do you mean? Lily stammered, her heart pounding in her chest. Mrs. Hawthorne's voice quivered as she spoke. It drains their souls, forces them to relive their darkest moments until they wither away. Mr. Penrose once tried to rid it of its curse 
but it consumed him instead. You must leave it alone, or you will become trapped within its pages. The realization hit Lily like a physical blow. Panic surged through her, and she dropped the book as if it burned her fingers, the thud echoing ominously in the silence. The store dimmed as shadows flickered along the walls and a disembodied voice whispered her name, drawing nearer. Without thinking, Lily turned and ran, her breath ragged as she sprinted for the door. The haunting whispers intensified now a cacophony of pleas and warnings. She burst outside into the crisp night air, gasping for breath as the chill of Thistle Creek bit into her skin. Looking back through the now bare window of the almanac, she saw that the book had returned to its shelf, as if it had never been disturbed. But as she turned to escape, her heart sank, she was not alone. Silhouetted against the faint light inside the bookstore stood a figure, Mr. Penrose. His gaze was hollow, and his mouth moved soundlessly, an eternal scream trapped within. Terrified, Lily ran, not daring to look back, the weight of the book's curse pressing down on her like a heavy fog. Weeks passed and the townsfolk spoke of Lily's misadventure as she continued to tremble at the thought of that haunted book. The Chronicles of Shadows remained untouched in the almanac, its dark allure seemingly growing stronger with each passing day. Rumors swirled about its cursed history in the countless souls it had consumed, binding them to its sinister pages. In the end, Thistle Creek continued to flourish, its picturesque charm winning over the hearts of many. Yet, the shadow of the almanac lingered in the back of people's minds, a whispered warning of what lay within. And as autumn faded into winter, the stories of the haunted book became a staple of local lore, a chilling reminder that some mysteries are best left unopened, resting quietly in the shadows of the past waiting patiently for the next curious soul to wander through its door. That's it for that story, guys. How about it? Can you go to a sleep now? If you have a story too please do email me your story. I place my email on my description box. Till next time, bye.